This vlog is going to start off by welcoming you to my studio and the destruction that Suki has caused. I put my Wilfred plant up here to stop her climbing it because it was down here and she was just making the floor an absolute mess where she was just climbing Wilfred all the time and chucking all the dirt out and then playing with the dirt. I put him up here but she can now climb onto this chair and then gets herself on behind those squares up in between that and onto the desk and just plays in Wilfred's soil. So this is the state of my packing desk, that's fun, <laughs> um, yeah, welcome to the vlog I suppose. I've literally just ended off the last vlog because I didn't record anything over the weekend um and yeah it's but got to like half past three now and i'm like just not in the mood to do any work today but i do have some orders to package up so that is literally the main port of call today but the first thing i wanted to say to you guys was thank you so 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 much for all of your orders over launch day and over the weekend oh, it's so nice to have your new products snapped up and being sent out. I just so, so thank you to each and every one of you that placed an order. The items are still all available. So you have B pins, B prints, um, B notepads and bookmarks. Um, all for a re very, very reasonable price if I do say so myself. Um, they are all still available in my shop both on Etsy and my website I'm gonna leave the link to both of them below because I know some people Prefer a trusted site like something like eBay or Etsy or Amazon or something like that over somebody's site So I'm gonna leave the link to my Etsy shop and to my website and if you fancy having a look Even if you don't buy anything just you guys watching this and just by clicking on the website and going and having a look is more more than enough but thank you to those that have purchased or do purchase in the future you guys make my day and make me doing this possible and i cannot thank you enough so thank you very much and i've really enjoyed bringing you along for the creative journey and the process of it like I know a lot of the, well, the creation of the bee, you would have seen me draw. And then you've obviously seen me create the bookmark. Uh, the print isn't really, like, much of a creation. Um, but you've seen, like, the ordering of the notepads and that kind of thing. I've really, really enjoyed it. And it just makes me want to do that kind of thing more. Like, I just want to, obviously I'm going to bring you guys along for the journey because I need to start to do my 2021 calendar and I've got some more prints to do. So this week I am going to start to do the calendar and I'm going to start to organise what prints I want to have printed and added as an addition to the web shop. I've previously stopped doing prints because I thought that it was like not a product that people wanted but I've had a lot more request for prints and also it's never a bad thing to have a variety and a large amount of items in your Etsy shop and I've got the space here to store some prints not necessarily like all mounted but I've got enough space to store them all in like um, the paper format that they come in and then I have I can just order in mounts and stuff as and well like, as and when I sell so it's not going to take up too much of my area to just have a load of prints in stock and I'm not going to get like every single design made into a print I'm just going to get what I feel are the best ones so obviously I've got the bee I'm going to get the tiger made into a print and I've got the kingfisher which I did uh, two years ago now which is also um, been requested to be added to the shop so I'm going to add things that I consider like a fairly decent subject um, and ones that aren't just going to sit in stock like the fox that I decided to make into a print that just sat in stock I've still got some fox prints I think or did I give them out as patron gifts I can't remember um, <laughs> but yeah I'm going to have a back stock or a stock of prints and start to add that stuff to my store as well also on the agenda for this week as well as those product 
creations I need to <laughs> hi I need to um, make or the line art for the live draw along session which I'm going to be hosting on Friday for my club puffin members and I also bye I also need to draw out the outline for the next tutorial which is going to be a lap wing so it's going to be oh, actually I've drawn the drawn an outline I just need to scan it in but I also need to scan in the tiger as well so I'm going to do that either today or tomorrow but the order of business today is literally packaging these orders and getting them off to the post box ready to go to people so let's do that as well as having Suki diving all over the desk I've also got a Jaffa sunning himself <laughs> oh <laughs> oh hi <laughs> I thought he was uh, being attacked by Suki, but he's just being a grumpus over there and doesn't want anything to be looking at him. Tuesday I think is it Tuesday yes <laughs> it's Tuesday the something of June I have actually the 23rd of June <laughs> oh my mind is all over the place at the moment oh my god so I've actually done a little bit of work this morning I woke up early and decided to do some work before James woke up um, basically all I did was sort out the reference image and everything that I need for my live draw along session with my puffin people on Friday so that I can get it posted up today and a reminder and everything. I've also picked the colours for that as well. Um, I made sure that I got all of that done. And I've also picked the colours and everything for the lapwing drawing which is going to be the next full wildlife tutorial so I've got these two swatches here this one is for the it's going to be a tiger nose so I asked everybody in the group on like because I do monthly Q&A sessions and also critiques and they always ask like what do you want to see in the upcoming months a anything like that um, so they decided that they wanted a small study something that we could complete in the two one to two hours that we're going to be drawing live together so we decided on a big cat nose either a cheetah or a tiger and I did ultimately decided on a tiger because it's just so much easier to find a good clear reference photo of a tiger nose than a cheetah nose so I've drawn the outline I need to scan this in along with the lapwing outline and the tiger piece but I've picked the colours so all I need to do is convert this or type them up onto my word document and then convert it to a PDF so that I can have it for people to download along with the reference photo and the line art so I need to scan those in this afternoon the line arts and get all of my scanning done so that I can post that uh, for scheduling later on this evening so that people know the time um, the date of Friday and everything and they have everything that they need for completing that live draw along session so that's good I've got that done this morning I'm gonna sneeze at some point <coughs> Ooh. Um, yeah and I also colour picked for the lap wing so the lap wing has some like really oil slicky type feathers so there's quite a few different colour choices there's some blues, greens, purples, pinks and then there's the obvious like 
uh, more natural kind of colours like um, dark sepia, dark indigo, and I've got three on the back there of warm grey, Van Dyke brown, and Beaster, which I don't often use Van Dyke brown. I've got walnut brown on there as well, which is my favourite, so not all is lost. <laughs> so I've colour picked that, so I need to get filming on that lap wing tutorial, but I don't think I'm going to get anything recorded today or tomorrow, possibly even Thursday, because it is so warm. Like, the temperature today is 23 degrees. The sun hasn't quite come round to shining into the studio yet. It's kind of, it's midday, it's, it's one o'clock. So the sun is just right up, up there and it's gonna come round it this afternoon. It's kind of annoying that the only time that Jane sleeps is like the afternoon, because um, that's when this gets the sun. Um, in theory, I should have done some this morning, but I needed to colour pick it first, and I had to scan. And then by the time I had colour picked and drawn the outline for the tiger, it was time to get James up, so I can get it done this morning. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to get anything done. Uh, filming wise in the afternoons and next couple days because it's just scheduled to be so freaking warm uh, that when it's warm in here it's so horrible to work and I can't put the fan on whilst I'm recording I can like blast cold air but all the Dyson fan does over there behind the door is circulate the air that's already here I've got the window open in the living room and I'm gonna open this window as well so we get a little bit of air circulation but it just gets so so warm that it's just so uncomfortable to do any type of filming and drawing it's okay to do like some drawing but trying to film and like get a, pro a professional level or level of production is not great whilst you've got full sun blaring in if anything, I might try and see if I can do a little bit of work this evening, if I feel like it. It depends how much we get done um, otherwise during the afternoon today. So what I plan to do instead is, as I said, scan these pieces in, the tiger and these two line arts. And then I'm going to make a start on creating the tiger prints and the tiger cards because I need to actually send off for a card restock because the B it's called B number two in my like SKU thing it's the B on the purple flower like the single B on the purple flower design that card is running low as always that is a best seller on Etsy so we need to get a large restock of those so I think I'm just going to order some prints those card those b cards and the new tiger cards at the same time so i think i'm going to get a head start on the artwork for those although the upload files ready for printing today so that is my main priority i also have a refill of dymo labels because i didn't realize that i was out of labels and the last few orders that I've had to fulfill I've been printing and sticking them myself so the whole process has taken a lot longer than it usually would have but I now have one roll of Dymo labels I ordered usually order like the the non branded ones because they're cheaper and you can get more rolls for your money so this roll contains 220 labels um, if you look on Amazon you can see ones that are like um, you can get 440 labels for the same price as this one. Um, <laughs> I didn't want to order the non-branded ones because they would have taken ages to get here. And I was like, well, if I'm going to continue getting orders in the week, which I know I am, I don't want to have to continue to cut and stick everything myself. So I had to order the super expensive ones so that they would be here sooner. <laughs> so now I just need to put in an order for some non-branded ones and also I need a restock on some envelopes and some cardboard mailers so I'm gonna get on YouTube um, YouTube <laughs> I'm gonna get on eBay and order some of those up um, yeah so let's get scanning
things are scanned. They're on my hard drive. I now need to put them into Photoshop and edit them so that the line art is a little bit more visible because it comes out really weird. I'll show you in a second. Um, but basically all I do is just import the images into Photoshop and then I adjust the levels a little bit so that you can see everything a lot more clearer. Um, yeah, so I've got the tiger, which obviously that will need a little bit of colour adjusting so that it matches the original, um, but I'll show you that process. Right in a second. <laughs> As you saw there, I just played around with the curves for the line art and then for actual drawings I tweaked the levels um, which is basically going into the lights, mediums and darks um, and just making sure that they're accurate and then I adjusted the brightness and the contrast on this particular one because the colours were just a little bit too saturated, it was just a little bit too like it popped too much whereas in reality on the actual drawing the tones and everything are quite subtle they're not like really vividly orange like um, what the scan had shown so I tweaked the contrast and the brightness and it looks pretty damn accurate um, so what I will do now is open up my card template i think i've shown you this before but i'm going to show you guys again um, i'm going to open up the card template and then just plop the tiger cub image on make sure that it fits within the boundaries of the side of the card that it's on and then just change the text um, a little bit on the reverse of the card um yeah and then the print process making is pretty much you just open up an a4 template from whatever printing company i'm using printed.com as i usually do um and then you just make sure that your artwork fits within the bleed lines that's pretty much it there's not really much to creating the prints you literally just drag and drop your artwork adjust it so that it fits whatever size that you're going for i'm going for a four prints for this um so it's just pretty standard paper size just going to make sure it fits within the lines and everything and make sure that it's kind of accurate to the proportions of the original art as well and yeah the prints really really simple so i'm not going to show you that process but the cards a little bit more involved because it's just uh, making sure that it fits within the um the half of the card parameters that you need it when it's folded and then changing the reverse so let's make that card So for card and print files, basically all I do is just, as you saw, just drag and drop the artwork into the file there and then I've got the um, the card template which is provided from the printer 
on the top layer and I've set it to an opacity so you can see everything underneath and then I just make sure that the actual artwork that I want visible on the front of the card is within the grey bleed line. So that's basically all you do and then just change any wording that you want on the opposite side. So when you get a card printed you need to make sure that the back of the card is on the left and the front of the card is on the right so that when it folds you've got the fold on the left hand side. Obviously if you want your card to fold in a different way, like if you want it to fold kind of on, on the right hand side then you would put your artwork on the left and your wording on the right. But this layout and this template is great for me um also all i did was actually just lighten the artwork a little bit because from experience from using printed.com it tends to print just a little bit darker on this particular card stock that i choose for my cards so i just lighten the artwork a little bit so that it comes out a little bit more true to the actual drawing rather than coming out quite dark and that's basically it. So I'm just going to apply the same steps of just dragging and dropping the PNG files into some templates for the A4 prints for a few of the other artworks. I'm thinking I'm definitely doing the tiger because I've had a lot of requests for the tiger print. Um, I'm thinking of doing the kingfisher. I've already done a few prints of the kingfisher from ages ago but I just want to get some more prints made. Um, I'm going to order some proofs for this one just to make sure that the colours and everything are correct for it um, and maybe do some limited edition prints of what did I do earlier in the year? The wax wings possibly, I might do like a square set one like I've done the bumblebee um, and I'm thinking of doing the wild dog possibly the links I don't know I'm just gonna have a look through all of my files and just see which ones I want to actually turn into prints and have listed on my shop so that's all I'm gonna do this afternoon I'm not sure what else I'm going to film this week I don't think I'm gonna film very much face or like speaking stuff so anything that I do film I'll insert at the end of the vlog but this is a really short studio vlog but with this footage and everything that I've included I feel like it's going to be like pretty fleshed out anyway so I hope you have enjoyed seeing um, the creation like the scanning process and then the creation of the actual cards um, and like showing the template and everything because I don't think I've ever done it in like real time and it doesn't actually take all that long to edit the card file together so hopefully you've enjoyed seeing that process um and yeah that's basically all i'm gonna film with my face this week and then if i get anything else done this week it's probably just going to be drawing and packaging so hopefully at the end of this clip you'll have some packaging but i will see you guys in next week's vlog i hope you have a good rest of the week and a good weekend happy drawing and i'll catch you all later bye it's getting closer to midnight i try to get closer to you drinking courage from my red cup now i will soon make a move hi Focus on breathing My heart is getting empty